When you are de-escalating emotional reactions, it's important to establish a relationship with the person. And we can do that by treating people with respect and kindness. Introduce yourself and show empathy to let them know you care. Use closed-ended questions to help the person focus. Coming to an agreement on something establishes a common place for the helper and the person in distress. Treating someone with respect during an interaction increases the likelihood that a person will respond positively to your interaction with them. Avoid broad characterizations of the individual, such as, you are a really good person, as it may seem insincere. Avoid using the word we, as in, we need to calm down. It can sound paternal or condescending. Give positive directions. That is, direct the individual to what you want them to do, rather than what you don't want them to do. And lastly, be respectful of their personal space. Use the L-shaped stance and actively listen to what they are saying. These tips should help you de-escalate a situation. But if you find the individual is still agitated, you will want to inform your team leader so that they can assist. This concludes Module 5, De-Escalation.